I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, here we have this FSP model FSP 300-60 THA parentheses one power supply. I have two of these units. The other one that I have was the one that sounded like a cicada and just generally is, I mean it works but it has a lot of noise on the outputs. This one here actually doesn't work at all except for the 5 volt standby. So this one here, all the capacitors in it look fine from a visual inspection. I'm going to pull the cover off. Now I should note, um, use caution when working inside of uh, power supply units. So this unit here um, is actually a little bit older than the other one. The other one is from around 2007. This one's from 2005. So in this video I'm just going to be taking the uh, PCB out and having a look at the bottom side because I don't think I've ever done that before with this unit. So one thing I should note about this particular unit is it has that infamous yellow glue in it. But they, uh, whoever put this unit together did not get overly excessive with the glue and they kept the glue for the most part off of HV components. Now I mean there is some over here in this area but it seems like um, the glue isn't much of an issue unless it's on a component or an area that gets hot because once the glue gets hot over time it starts to darken and get conductive and that's not, that's not a good thing you definitely don't want that all right so um, we'll take the PCB out and just have a look at the bottom of it see if I notice anything unusual or obvious So one of the reasons why I want to have a, have a look at the bottom of the PCB is because sometimes you may discover something you didn't see from the top side. Like for example with the Bestag HX 312Z I fixed pretty recently. From the top side there was no obvious problems but when you flipped it over and looked at the bottom side there was a burnt out, there was a uh, trace that got damaged. And it so happened to be one that fed the uh, the plus 5 volt standby section. It's the one that fed the high voltage side of the 5 volt standby. Because the 5 volt standby was not working. Therefore the rest of the unit also was not working. Alright, so in this unit, it's going to take a, take a quick look here. So again, this power supply has working 5 volt standby, yet the rest of the unit does not work. And I'm seeing some corrosion on this thing. Not sure if it's old flux or what but um, yeah, I'm looking around especially right here this is one of the transistors on the on the primary this is a half bridge unit and it has two 13007 switches so you got one here and one there and I'm just a bit concerned about how this circuit board looks it's just 
Yeah, it's not looking the best. I'm gonna say it could be it could be salvaged. Probably have to clean up a little bit. I'm not sure if this uh, unit has been exposed to humidity. I don't know the history of the computer that this came out of. But especially like right in this area. Makes me a little concerned. It's like maybe something could have shorted out, but I would say if something shorted out, it would look noticeably worse. Now usually, I want to say that when the primary switchers fail, sometimes it will actually, uh, of course, blow the fuse in the unit, therefore disabling the entire unit. But if you had something like that, you would have a much more noticeable um, damage spot in the uh, circuit board because then we're dealing with a with an arc flash in, of over 300 volt DC. So obviously the fuse is intact on this unit because the 5 volt standby works. So yeah, if you're ever troubleshooting a power supply, um, which I only recommend you do if you have some electronics knowledge, um, it definitely does help to pull the PCB out of the case and have a good look at things. So. One spot of concern I'm seeing is right here. I mean, you can see how dirty or corroded that is. So, that's the uh, emitter base and collector of that transistor. And I don't know if perhaps something has gotten bridged there before hard to tell so given the kind of track record I had with the other FSP unit of this model there's the uh, likelihood that I may scrap both of these units just scrap them but we shall see. I may, I may spend a little extra time on this unit in a, in a later video. But now that I've taken the uh, circuit board out of this unit and looked at the bottom of it, it's like, okay, I'm seeing, uh, I'm definitely seeing some corrosion in here and some stuff I don't necessarily like. So there's a possibility that there could be a broken trace in here or a corroded trace rider which could indicate why the unit is not powering up other than the 5 watt standby. So the other FSP unit did not have all this it didn't look all it didn't have all this corrosion or anything on it. So there's a chance this thing may have been exposed to uh, humidity. Now there I don't see any like rust in this thing. I mean sometimes these things do get a little bit of rust. On, the, on like the surface of the case, but I mean this one, not sure. I want to say everything in this section, the high voltage section, is fine. It's just it could be perhaps be something to do with the switchers, or something over on the low voltage side. It could be why this thing ain't working. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and cut it for this video. Um, I just want to pull the uh, PCB out real quick and have a look at this thing. And I'm not exactly pleased with what I'm seeing. So, this may be another unit to scrap. Who knows? So anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.
Hello everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your channel, and be sure to tick that bell so you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Also, don't forget, I have a whole lot of other interesting videos here on the channel to check out. And also, in addition, I have a second channel, Cute Comp MTDX, where I have all sorts of other videos not exactly related to technology. Links to the channels are available at the end of this video. Again, I thank you for your support, and thanks for watching this video.